All right, what is going on, people? Welcome to another Tony State nighttime edition, man. Gonna be a quick one because I'm trying to get my ass home before the train shut down, you know. But I want to talk to you real quick, just my opinion on this whole nonsense when it comes to the whole consoles overheating. Here's the thing consoles right now they're more like C like pcs than ever right there's a lot of components in there that are just like pcs right so basically since they're built like pcs you gotta have heat output like a pc right so we're hearing a lot of reports are like xboxes are overheating possible playstations overheating right now bro do you not understand how physics works basically you want heat to leave the system so your shit doesn't heat up inside you know so that's why we're hearing all that so i'm like it's not overheating, it's just doing what it's supposed to be doing. So I don't understand where this is coming from. Like, obviously, I don't have the X at the moment, but I'm like, bro, it, you want heat to leave your system. You don't want it to be stuck in there, right? Obviously, if you've seen the PS5, you've seen the heat sink in there, bro, the shit looks like a fucking, it looks like a Jacob Javits Center, the heat sink itself, right? Like, obviously, the developers, you know, Sony, they wanted the system to get as much heat out of the system as possible to make sure your games run fine, right? So I'm not understanding why you guys, not my fans obviously, but like people out there are like, oh, it's overheating. Like, yo, you want that to be happening, you know? So it's really weird, like, but I think that this, is what it's, this is what it really spells. Consoles are now becoming more like PCs more than ever. So you're gonna have to you know, just deal with some of these things. I'm talking about SSDs and all that other stuff. That's just the way it is, you know? So this is a quick little video just to let you guys know, it's like, bro, if you get a PS5 on launch, get a uh, Xbox One on launch, if there's a lot of heat coming out of it, no cause for concern. You're good. It's okay. You want all that heat to come out of there. Because if it's cool, uh, it, your system might be fucked up. But I, I guarantee you, these companies spent, spent too much money developing these systems to have their shit over here. Remember the red, uh, red, um, red Ring of Death for Xbox? And we also had the Yellow Light of Death for PS3. They're not trying to repeat that shit, right? And just running it back a little bit, the reason these systems run so hot is because this gen, PS4, Xbox One, both systems got criticized of being underpowered, right? These systems are just where they're supposed to be, which means, since again, since they're both like PCs, they run very hot, which means you need to have a lot of heat dissipation, right? So yes, maybe your room will become a little bit hotter or whatever, but you don't want your system that you pay $500 for to just brick on you because it got too hot, you know? So again, all these reports that you're hearing, it's fine, you know? But I'm just saying, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, you know? Again, quick Tony Steak. By the way, this is Crime Alley right here. This is where Batman got killed. <laughs> Not Batman, but Batman's parents got murdered in Gotham show. Um, just want to show you guys that, and uh, that's that, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about heat dissipation. Are you worried that these consoles are going to run too hot? Or do you think they're manufactured in such a way that, you know, it's just right, where we get the perfect balance of performance and heat dissipation and all that, you know? So that's it for this late night Tony's Takes, man. Shout out to my cameraman, Danny Pena. And we'll see you next time, man. Later.